Here's a magneto taken out of a typical light training aircraft. It's a four cylinder engine and this magneto is the left magneto so it incorporates the impulse coupling. Here's the input and here is the four outputs on the distributor section. High tension leads connected here which in turn would go to the respective spark plugs in the cylinder. Now I've already disconnected this wire here. This wire would be connected to here and to this part. Now this part is the, the breaker and you can see here as I turn this that little part is making and breaking the connection so in effect what it's doing is it's grounding the primary coil as that rotates and the little cam breaks that circuit. Okay current is then flowing down this wire to the coil. Now this coil here is the primary and the secondary coil intertwined as one. Through here we're going to have the high voltage which is going to connect to this part here and that part here is going to transfer the current as it rotates to the respective high tension lead. Impulse coupling. We'll look first of all as the engine's starting, it's starting at very low RPM, so this bit here is going to make contact with that stop. If the engine was rotating quickly, centrifugal force would pull this part out like that, and that piece wouldn't come into contact with the stop, and that would spin freely. Likewise again, centrifugal force would be holding that part out, so it would just rotate freely. But during engine start, these poles are not being thrust out by centrifugal force, so this part will come into contact with the stop. Now I've got to be careful not to give myself a little electric shock as I do that, but I'm going to turn this and because the pole has come into contact here with the stop, as I turn that, it's going to release now. There it is. It's released. Now watch this bit now. So as you're rotating the engine, about 50 rpm and we need about 150 rpm at least to generate enough current in that primary coil that's exactly what that's doing it's winding up and then it's spinning really quickly winding up spinning quickly winding up spinning quickly watch again that is an impulse coupling. This time take a look at the voltage generated. So I've just hooked up the multimeter set to AC. Well, that's pretty slow. And you can imagine with the engine rotating at 2000 RPM, it's going to generate some serious voltage.